So the deal with part two is, is well, the, the, the plan for part two is to spot that this thing here kind of looks like this thing here. If we say that theta, this theta here is 10 over 3 alpha. So theta is kind of the same as 10 over 3 alpha. And then we've got we've got three lots of this. So if we kind of if we put a three times this, then we'd have three times sine three theta. So three theta is the same as ten alpha. And therefore this can be written as 3 sine 10 alpha. So 9 sine 10 over 3 alpha minus 12 sine cubed 10 over 3 alpha is actually just 3 sine 10 alpha. They're equivalent because these are equivalent up here. So it then says, determine the greatest possible value of this. So rather than determining the greatest possible value of this, I can just determine the greatest possible value of this. And the greatest possible value of this is just 3, because sine goes between 0 and 1, uh, sorry, minus 1 and 1. So greatest value equals 3. And it says find the smallest possible positive value value of alpha for which that occurs. So when is a sine graph at its peak? A sine graph is at its peak here. And what's that value? That value is 90. So we want this 10 alpha to equal 90. So it's when alpha is uh, nine.